What's up everyone, Matt Lossick here. Welcome to my channel. So today we're gonna to be discussing the client ranking strategy, ranking route, ranking plan, whatever you wanna call it, that I use in my agency for getting our clients to show up or on page one of the Google search. So that way they can be found by their clients and make more money and be more than happy to continue paying us a nice sum of money every single month. So if you're brand new to the channel, my name is Matt, like I mentioned, I own Landscape Marketing Pros, which is, as you guess it, a marketing agency for landscaping companies. And so the reason I'm creating this content is because I struggled for multiple, multiple years. I have a video that's like 45 minutes long that kind of describes my whole journey of just getting to really this point. And finally now starting to pick up steam here in 2021 and going into 2022, I know it's going to be a breakout year. But I wanted to help the people that were in a position similar to me in 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018, where nothing worked. I tried e-commerce, drop shipping multiple times. I tried even different types of marketing agencies with like email marketing and that sort of stuff. And selling an information product based on a previous business that I had and, and just so many different things that didn't work. And finally, a digital marketing agency, specifically with SEO, pay-per-click, website design, and so forth for landscaping companies is what really worked. And now that it's working, I'm going to put all my effort into it. I make these videos here for fun because I like to take the ideas that are in my brain and put them here onto video. But anyways, let's just hop right into it. So the very foundation of your client's online presence and what's gonna determine the success of it is going to come from on-page SEO. On-page SEO is how the website communicates what it's about to the search engines. And so the way that we do this, and this just works so incredibly well, and that's why this is so critical. This is like the right using the right block for the foundation of a house and using the right glue if, if glue is used. I don't know, I'm not a construction worker, but if, this is what is going to set that up and make sure that the entire house is, is structurally sound. So you have the home page. Let's do H right here. And so what we do for the home page is we pick the primary service that the client wants. So let's say landscaping is what they want. There. And by the way, if you don't understand the different intricacies of the industry, lawn care is a completely separate category. The way the services are rendered is completely different to landscaping. And if you're getting into landscaping as a marketing agency, I would not try to do SEO pay per click because you're going up against me specifically on the SEO side because that's where I really want to push. I really like doing this because it's just works really, really well. And I have a really good system in place, not to toot my own horn, but I've done this for a long time. You need to understand the different intricacies of the industry that you're going to target for whatever it is that you're doing, whether that's decks, plumbers, remodeling, all sorts of other industries that are out there. Regardless of it, you got to know the industry that you're working in. I've said that in multiple videos, but I can't stress enough how important that is. Now, so what we do here is we will take, let's say it's for our client right here, which is Northwood Outdoor Services. You can see for their main city, landscaping, Rogers, Minnesota. And again, you might see if you're someone in SEO that, that, that doesn't know local that much or not understand the industry, they see 40 searches, oh, that's not very much. There are other variations people type in. They'll type in landscape services, landscaping near me, best landscapers near me, where there are thousands of searches per month. And our Google search console data proves that as well. But you can see we have them ranking here in the number one spot. And so I'll refresh the page even to just obviously, I mean, how can you fake the Google search result? But they're Google My Business listing here in the map pack and then them right here as well. And these guys are able to more than double their business this year as a result of our services, which is really cool to hear. Now, what we did here was their main services, and they really only do two things. They do landscaping and they do snow removal. As far as the categories, there's a lot of subcategories like mulch installation, retaining walls, drainage, grading, paper patios, and so forth that fall into the landscaping category. So what we do for this page is we optimize it for landscaping Rogers. LR, let's call that for short. Now what we do from there is, I'll actually just go to their site. Now what we do from there is we will build out individual pages for each service that they offer. So we have landscape installation right here and we are just another, just kind of like a, a dummy page. This one does not set up to be ranked at all. And I will draw this out in just a second at the, at the board. I just wanted to kind of show you how we do this. But so you can see we have a page here for every one of the services that they offered. Now, this is what we've been able to do for even the very first two clients that I had, Lush Landscape and Irrigation, testimonial video on my website, and then Best Outdoor Services, also another testimonial video on my website. When I initially was getting this started, I didn't know I could actually sell a recurring service program for $1,000, 1500 per month year round. So I had just sold them the website design for three, four, five grand, whatever it was. And then I'm left scrambling after the fact, trying to get the next sale. But I still built their website just as I would do for a person that's paying every single month. And these individual service pages plus the city pages, which I'll get into here in a little bit, this is what helped pull in a ton of traffic for them 
that turned into a bunch more clients. And, and we're talking hundreds of thousands, actually multiple millions of dollars in sales increases just for those two companies alone, just as a result of having these types of pages built out. Which by the way, if you'd like me to do a video on service program pricing, how I structure it, what's included, that sort of stuff, leave a comment below about pricing for your services. And really what we're trying to do is turn our services into a product so that way we're not the commoditized website guy. You wanna be the authority in your industry that you are targeting. And that's why I said in multiple of my videos now that if you are trying to get into the landscaping industry as a marketer, you should probably find something other than SEO because that way you can stand out and become the go-to authority. So become the best email marketing and Facebook ads, for example. So anyways, back to the structure here of this. So what we do is we have all these other pages here. So we have about us, we have the contact us page with a quote. And you'll notice on these pages, I don't do multiple contact forms on every single page because of the fact that we just do one form. It's very, very detailed most of the time, depending on what the client wants. But usually for our clients that do like the projects that are five, 10, 15, $20,000, they wanna have as much information about their prospects as possible. So we build out a big form and this was not going to work if it was on every single page. So we just place call to actions in multiple locations on the page. So. When someone's scrolling on mobile, you can see it's sticky, even on, on desktop here as well, but they can go to this form page to request a quote there. There are buttons to request a quote here in the text, and then of course, another call to action down here as well. And so that gives our clients a little more leverage so they don't have to waste time chasing leads that are gonna be low budget or whatever, because if someone says that they want a thousand square foot patio and their budget is two grand, they know that that person has no clue about anything they're gonna have to obviously either educate them or they'll just not even waste the time with the lead if they have enough coming in otherwise and the other pages that we'll build are the testimonials we'll embed their google my business listing testimonials on there and then we'll do a blog with blog posts and we do a blog post once a month just to keep fresh content coming onto the site we also make sure we try to answer questions that people type into the search result related to our client services so when's the best time to fertilize my lawn in such and such or whatever your niche has being able to have that will help get a little bit more additional traffic and offer more opportunities for your clients. So if blog posts, we'll just do monthly posts. And then like mentioned, we have our services. So let's just say we have, we'll just do lawn or we'll do landscaping rather. And then we have snow. And so for Northwood, we have just the once removable page that includes everything, the plowing, salting and so forth. I know some other companies that I've seen, they have a page for salt, they have a page for all that sort of stuff, but we just make sure it's mentioned on there and make sure it's mentioned in the meta title, meta description. And usually that will get the job done, especially when you start building links to get the website to show up, Google will start to see, oh, okay, they mentioned salt. So if someone types in ice removal or salt and company near me, that they can show up there as well. And so, then for, and so that's why there's only one page here. That's why we stop at this level for this particular service page. Now, when it comes to the landscape side, like I mentioned, we have paper patios, we have retaining walls, we have grading, we have drainage and, and all the other ones out there. I'm not gonna get into all that. And so when we come to these pages, yes, this takes a lot more work. You have to do a lot more writing or you have to invest into someone that's very good with writing to make sure it's all written properly. But if you look here, I'll hover over the title here, you can see the page title, Tree and Plant and Shrub Planting, Rogers, Minnesota. So we're, we're going for that city that they are based in. And then you can see, we also throw in a variable, tree installation experts. And so that way when type, people type in planting trees or tree planters, tree installers, so forth, that can show up. And so again, for all of these service pages, we are targeting the headquartered city with all these. And these are the ones that can pull in a ton of traffic if you really optimize these and make them work. I've had clients that have brought in hundreds of leads that has turned into millions of dollars in revenue over even just this year alone through some of these pages. With the call and form tracking that we use, which is what converts basically places a pixel on your website, places a pixel on your website, that I can see where a client comes in and where they land at, where they convert at, whether they either click to call right from a page or they navigate to a different page, or they went from the landing page to a contact page to fill out the form. Because again, we do the form, one form on the website on the contact page, that's it, because it's usually very comprehensive like I showed. Now, service area is the next step here. These are gonna be the city pages that are going to be targeting the other cities that they work in. So for example, with Northwood Outdoor, they are, we'll just take a look here at the Loretta one. And basically these are just optimized for their main service that they offer. So we build this out and we, as you can see by the page title, you can see landscaping Loretta, Minnesota. And what I like to do is I like to throw in other services in there. Granted, 
it's going to be covered in the content such as retaining walls, saw, drainage, all that stuff. But you can see we have it in the page title. This is what's going to help show up in the search results because if someone typed in landscape drainage or retaining walls, Loretto, they have a very good shot of probably showing up number one as soon as the page is indexed and gets out of that Google sandbox where it, it's that period of time where it's kind of in index and kind of not and bouncing in and out. But you can see this page is very basic. It looks similar to the homepage pretty much. It's just it's text content and and then the testimonials embed as well. And then I also like to have the featured blog posts added on here. So that way there's new content even added to these pages every single month. And so then one final call to action. And so for each one of these cities was to C1, C2. And real quick, while I was editing this, I realized that I did not draw another line out here to a service area page. So we're not siloing or parent paging the city pages from snow because these are not, we don't do that at all. We just have another service area page that comes out off the homepage. It's just in terms of the actual structure, the URL structure, it is website domain.com, whatever, forward slash service area. And then we have landscaping Loretto, Minnesota in this example. So I just wanted to note that. C3. Typically, we limit it to like 10 cities. If a client has 16, 15 cities, we'll, we'll make it work for them. And so this whole process right here is usually two to three-ish weeks or so, depending on the client's website. If there's existing content that we can use, that sort of stuff, it just saves a lot of time because then we have something that we can build off. From there, we get going with the off-page SEO. And sometimes even month one, we start doing some of the off-page stuff, like ordering up citations, which are directory profiles to have them built out, maybe even some guest posts and other things like that. So you have to stay tuned, go down below, hit the subscribe, hit the bell as well for notifications so you know when those next videos come out. Probably stretch them out over maybe like a month one to three or month one to six, something like that, and then six to 12 and go on from there for how we manage the off-page side of things for clients so that way we can get them really good visibility and they can get amazing results and drastically improve their business by having tons and tons of clients coming in and turning into more sales because that's really what it's all about. It's about selling an ROI. So anyways, if you like this type of video, be sure to go down below, drop a like, Hit that subscribe if you're not already subscribed and hit the bell for notifications to know when the news content comes live. And if you'd like to see the video on pricing structure and anything else, just comment below your thoughts on that. And I'll see you guys in the next one when we're getting into the link building. So see you then.